That's a smart with strength ministers. Yesterday, I shared the parable of the ten talents. That is found in Matthew and in Luke. I do not believe Ma uh, Mark actually even mentions this parable. Um, obviously, we discussed the ending, but I want to kind of discuss really quickly the rest of it today. So we know the story, again, this nobleman gives his servants, each of them, coin or money. He gives one, he gives five, one he gives four, and the other he gives one. And each of them were supposed to go out, take the money that they were given, and invest it in the land, or invest it in the banks or whatever, so that they can build up the money so that he could so that this nobleman can build up a kingdom right so the nobleman comes back and he goes back to the five the one that he gave five coin to and he says good job my uh, well done my good and faithful servant enter into the joy of your lord because he added five more to his 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 money or five more talents to what he was already given because he invested that same for the four but the one, he did not invest his money. He went and hid it from everybody. Did not use it the way he was intended to. So, here's what I'm getting at here. We are all blessed with different gifts, different abilities that can be, if we use them the correct way, used for the kingdom of God to further that kingdom. But if we as children of God are not using them correctly and are not using them the way God intended them to be used, then we are not furthering God's kingdom and we might as well have been that one servant that went and hid his money or hid his talent. And I like that it actually specifies the coin was called a talent back then. He hid his talent from the world. And then when the Lord came and said, hey, what did you do? He said, well, Lord, I, I knew you were, were you were an angry, angry nobleman or whatever. <clears throat> and so I just went and I hid it. Uh, but here it is. And he says, what good is it going to do for me? Give it to the one that already has the five or the ten. What, what good does it do me? Give it to somebody else that can actually use it for the furtherance of my kingdom. Okay, so yeah, I get it. it. It seems harsh, but if God has blessed you with something, an ability that others don't have, are you using it to further the kingdom of God? A, a pastor shared this long ago, and I completely agree with it. It's not what the church can do for you, but what you can do for the church. And to take it even a step further, it's not what the kingdom of God can do for you. Because you already know what the kingdom of God can do for you. But it's what you, as a child of God, can do for the kingdom of God. We are supposed to invest and spend time in God's Word. And spend time in the presence of God. So that His anointing and His blessings and His grace and His mercy will shine on us. His knowledge will increase in our lives. So that His Word will shine brighter for us. So that we can, can, can be a beacon of hope to others. Because again, and I've said this a hundred times, we may be the only Bible that people ever read. You might very well be the only Jesus people ever see. Are you shining bright for those people today? Are you putting every talent that you have to work for the kingdom of God? Guys, y'all already know what I've been blessed with. The gift of gab. I can thank my father for that one. And I praise God for this gift. Because if not for it, what else could I do? I mean, I like to sing, sure. But this is something that I, I believe God will use to further his kingdom. And he has. My wife's gift is, is more of a technical background. She works in computers and things like that. And she is absolutely anointed in that way. She loves putting slides together for the church and doing different things like that for the church. That's where she is feels the, the most used for the church, for furthering the kingdom of God. 
And there's others that are in our church that I see sitting in the back of our church. Not back row, but sitting in the back. And they are worshiping the Father. They are calling upon the Holy Spirit. They are prayer warriors. And I believe, I mean, true worshipers of God, seeking to, 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 to bring in the Holy Spirit. And when I see them pray and worship, I know that the Holy Spirit is going to be revealed. And there's others that have the gift of dreams and so forth. And I've seen them use that. But if ever we use it for the wrong reasons, you get what I'm saying? We are all blessed with talents. Some of us have more talents than others. But as long as we use them, and we use them for the correct reasons, then God will bless you with more. I hope this is making sense to you today, guys. This is something that the Father put on my heart last night to share. And Hey, here we are. Sharing the Father's Word. Every one of us is blessed with a gift. Whether you realize it or not, you do have something to offer the kingdom of God. Until you draw that last breath, you have something to offer the kingdom of God. Something you can do to further the will of the Father in someone else's life, planting seeds in their life to see salvation and the harvest. There are so many other things that God can, can use you for if you allow it. So as long as we're digging in His Word, seeking His face, spending time in His presence, and, and worshiping the Lord, then He will help us to redefine those, those gifts that He has anointed us with and use them for the reasons that He sees fit. Not my will be done, but yours, Lord. That's a good one. Guys, I love you with all my heart. If you need prayer, post in the comment section below. You know I got you. Remember to do your study over this for yourself. It's found in Matthew, uh, and it's found in Luke. And right offhand, I can't remember the exact verses, but you can scroll back over and find them. It's a parable of the ten talents. What are your talents, and what are you bringing in for the kingdom of God. What can you do for the kingdom of God? Not what can the kingdom of God do for you. I love you.